Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome to the Catacombs. I am your host, The Hooligan. Welcome Sworn Nation. And you get in the room, please make an announcement. Let me know who's watching. Um, no, you got hearts. <laughs> Hope everyone uh, has had a good week so far. Everyone is looking forward to the uh, week to be over so we can all start the weekend and uh, enjoy our free time for a couple days. Um, I just want to say, uh, Kenneth, how are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for joining me today. How is your day going? I hope it's treating you well. And I hope, uh, I hope it's treating you good, man. Hope everyone's having a great day. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I want to thank everyone for the uh, kind words and the uh, birthday wishes. Uh, thank you very much. It, it's been a, a rough couple of weeks uh, for myself and my family, um, but seeing all the kind words and the love you guys all sent out to me uh, really helped. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I missed you guys, um, but it's good to be back. It's good to see all your faces <laughs> virtually. <laughs> and uh, looks like uh, we got a Kickstarter launching today. So I hope you guys will be joining us for all the fun and shenanigans we normally do on a Kickstarter. I'm really excited about this one. This is the uh, next chapter in our year of Death Apocalypse. So it's definitely. Uh, Really big deal for us all today. I have a feeling this is going to be the biggest Lady Death Kickstarter we have had to date. Um, everything's coming ahead in our stories. Everything's converging. And soon we'll have Lady Death versus Hellwitch. Wargasm! <laughs> oh, good afternoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, seven hours difference, Jimmy Cricket. Hi, Robert. It's good to see you too, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we're all excited here. We're getting ready to launch the uh, Sacrificial Annihilation. Oh my God, I actually remembered it. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to thank uh, Jimmy uh, for um, hanging tough and uh, running the catacombs for the last uh, few shows. Also a shout out to uh, Dakota for her help uh, backing me up while I was away. And um, everyone here at Coffin Comics, uh, I really do appreciate you all. And um, yeah, I got a lot of fun stuff for you today. Um, I'm definitely uh, pumped to be back. Uh, so I'm, I'm all ready for today. I'm looking forward to tonight. We always, uh, if you guys haven't joined us for our Kickstarter launch parties, they are a lot of fun. There's always some, uh, fun uh, things going on. Brian, just like a kid in a candy store, running around, showing off everything and talking to you guys. So expect a lot of fun from us tonight. Probably a few libations, a couple drinks. Uh, I will be joining us for a drink, whether it be an alcoholic beverage or beer or a cup of water or juice, whatever you want to join us. Let's join in the celebration together. All right, let me just see who we got. Eric Hart, thank you for watching. Thank you, Robert. He really did an amazing job. Justin Davey, thank you. It's good to be back. Thank you for joining me today. Um, yeah. <laughs> so bear with me. Just a, a, a little. Woo! So I have some really cool stuff on the catacombs for you. Dakota's probably got them all launched and ready to go. I got some classic stuff, some weird stuff, some scratch and dent stuff, and well, whatever fun stuff I have planned for you guys today. I can't wait to show you, uh, and then uh, we have some time at the end. I'd definitely uh, love to take some questions for you all. If you have any for me, I'll do my best to answer them. So let's start things off. These are the last, again, of the late Medieval Lady Death items. This is uh, Medieval Lady Death, War of the Winds, number five. This is the Poise cover. I have uh, two or three copies available, and these are the last copies I have. Um, I believe I'm also completely out on eBay as well. 
So if there's something that sells out here in the catacombs, definitely uh, check the eBay store. Uh, there is some of these items available now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, like right now, I have Medieval Lady Death. This is issue three. This is the Castle Burning. It was limited to a thousand copies. I have, it looks like roughly five, six copies left today. Six copies. These are the last of the Medieval Lady Death stuff uh, that were available and published through Avatar, uh, I believe in around uh, 04, 06. All right, last copy, Medieval Lady Death. Number three, this is the Platinum Foil. All Platinum Foils come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight, especially here in Arizona. It could blind you or lobotomize you. So in Arizona, the sun gets really intense here, and um, yeah, have something reflect right in your eyes that's getting reflected back, pss, blow out your retinas. It gets that sunny here. Um, although today it's nice and cloudy, I hope you guys are all having some really beautiful weather where you all are at, because um, we've had some nice rain the other day. My birthday wish came true. I got some rain a couple days after my birthday, so that was... Uh, a joy. Too bad it was in the middle of the night, but my turtles loved it. <laughs> All right, next up, this is Medieval Lady Death number five. This is the Stoic Beauty cover. Juan Jose Rip, of course. Only a thousand were published. I have exactly one copy for you today. <laughs> That's it. Like I said, these are the last of the last. Here's another item. This is uh, Medieval Lady Death number three. This is the premium cover, last copy. One and done. Look at you. Well, thank you, Mike. I appreciate you all. I'm glad you guys are liking what I uh, dig up for you. <laughs> all right, next up. This is also the last copy. This is Medieval Lady Death number six. This is the fierce cover. Uno mas, uno mas. Uh-oh, Jimmy's coming in. What's up, Jimmy? You still have these on the... Uh, oh, yeah. On there. You still Where's have it? some scratch and dents of the Masterpieces selection. There's selections that are signed on the cover, I believe two. Two that were available that were signed on the inside, and there was two unsigned copies. They were scratch and dents. Really great value, really great deal, so there's still a few copies left. If you guys have any questions on that, let me know. Um, if you guys haven't seen or picked up a copy of the Masterpieces. This book is stunning. It comes in a beautiful slip case, and it's volume one, so you know with all the beautiful covers and art we crank out, there'll probably be a volume two coming up uh, probably fairly soon. There's still so many things that Brian hasn't uh, put out yet, so uh, you know he's always got something in his little bag of tricks. But look, look at these stunning. It's classic and Coffin stuff, just beautiful art from all the top industries. You got Ali Garza, uh, Brian Fivey, Jay Ansolito, uh, Mirka Andolfo, Art Germ, Jim Ballant, Eric Basaluda, Joe Benitez, Janine Brumal, the list goes on. Brom, I think I sold one of those Brom uh, covers uh, back on the uh, vault sale we did last month. So those are still available, really great value. Go ahead and pick it up. Looks great on your coffee table and it looks great on your bookshelf. <laughs> well, kid, what? Um, you know what, Sebastian? It could be there might not be a measurement on the things. Um, if you could send a message to inquiries at coffeecomics.com and see what we could do to take care of you on that. Sometimes if a thing doesn't say it doesn't ship to your area, that just means there's a slight uh, problem in the description. So uh, inquiries at coffincomics.com. If you can let us know um, what it was you were looking for, we can go ahead and uh, see what we can do for you. Um, Jimmy, if you can uh, find out uh, what the situation is with Sebastian and maybe relay it to Dakota so we can get him taken care of. Um, Sebastian, aside from that, I hope you have been well. It's good to see you, and thank you for joining us, and thank you for letting me know about the uh, situation you're having. We'll see what we can do to take care of that for you. All right, next up, 
This is a scratch and dent. Lady Death, Scorched Earth. Number two, this is the Elite Edition. I have one available for scratch and dent. So you both can't ship to me. This is the first time I've ever done any and the covers are now sold out. Let me know what covers you're looking for. Maybe I'll have some back stock or something for you. Let me see what we can do for you, uh, Sebastian. Um, uh, I'm not sure if Dakota's here on the link, but Dakota, let us know uh, what the situation is. Also, um, in your inquiries at Coffin Comics, please also include what the covers were that you were checking out so we can see if there's any other shenanigans because it might be the folks that might have grabbed it, um, they might be having the same issue you are having too. So let's see what we can do to get that figure out for you, Sebastian, as well as anyone else who's having issues. Um, okay, next up, this is my last copy, Jason X, issue one. This is the special, and this is a gore cover. Just happened to run across this uh, going around for things for the catacombs, and I was like, holy cow, I got another Jason X. So, so far, this is my last Jason X copy here for you today. All right. Next up, last two things. This is all Dakota. Um, she found these last two copies. This is Lady Death, The Reckoning. This is the homage three book set by Dan Mendoza. You got the uh, gold edition in here. You've got a classic edition. And last but definitely not least, we have the silver edition so and also in random sets of these there's also a blood edition that was just randomly put in i think it was 10 percent of the run so um hopefully one of y'all will uh scoop up that uh hopefully there'll be one in the two sets i have available i'm not for sure i might know but i'm not going to tell you oh, gotta keep you guys in suspense uh hopefully uh hopefully we have some of those all right, next up, I found this. I've been sitting on it, didn't know what to do. This is an unused cover. Unused cover. It is basically, uh, just needs the guts included. Let me give you a show of this. This is the Lady Death Swimsuit Merry Christmas Edition. All it is is a folded cover that was not used. So this is another classic from the coffin era. This is early coffin. So this is when we were, uh, I believe Brian and them were actually putting the covers on themselves. So a really unique item for you today. Unfortunately, I only have the one copy. So um, win some, lose some. <laughs> All right, another scratch and dent here for you today. And this one is signed. This is Lady Death of Blinking Kiss Hardcover Edition. Oh, congratulations, Emmanuel. That's awesome. Thank you for joining me today, and I, I'm glad you got the item you were looking for. So, right on. Congratulations. And this is available now. This is a scratch and dent, and it is signed. Let's set that right there. Ooh, she looks pretty in the middle. What do you think? Pretty? I think so. All right, continuing the trend with scratch and dent, scratch and dent. I have for you Hell Witch Hellborn number one premier editions. These are available for you right now. Right now. I believe I uploaded 27 copies. This will run you 10 de Niro, no relation to Robert. Get him, got him, good. All right, everybody. Now here's another one, Scratch and Dent. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that have really been taking a chance on this title and they're enjoying it. This is Zach the Zombie Extinguisher. See, even when I'm gone, I still flub words, so. <laughs> uh, this is Zach, the Zombie Exterminator Special Edition. It was limited to 200. This is a scratch and ink copy. I have Uno Mas for you today. I highly recommend Zach. It is a nice, humorous tale. Zach and Zane Xander. And their Zombie Be Gone company. They have a reality show. It is humorous. I really think if you guys haven't checked it out, totally should do it. Lots of humor, lots of gore, lots of zombies, lots of splatter. And not only that, you get a nice little origin story because they are part of the Coffinverse. You will be seeing them in the backgrounds, in the forefront, during the death Deathocalypse. Coffinverse has grown. Go ahead and check out the origins on these characters. There's only one graphic novel for that title available. 
and I've seen some of the comments for people who just started getting into it. Um, thank you very much for sharing uh, that you like it and spread the word. Um, this is a really fun book. It's more of our lighter title, I guess you could say, when it comes to the coffin press, but it's still got a lot of splatter, and that's all that matters. All right, so these, what I have next, these were pretty interesting. I've been sitting on these for a while, didn't know what to do with them, so Brandy and I got together and repaired these, so these are all sold as is, as is, and they are Lady Death, Judgment War, Heavy Duty Edition. These cannot be graded because of these nice big old metal spikes. These things are ginormous. This is before we did the jeweled edition, I believe. Uh, this is one of our first experiments. So these were handmade here at Coffin Comics. I have a few available right now, including, I might add, a couple vault ones. So I have um, four of the regular ones, and then I have one, number three edition, also, I have a low vault number, number five and number six. These are available now. They're from the vault. It's that over. Jiminy Cricket going, I'm just flubbing all over the place. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Here we go. Bam. <laughs> well. I don't think I'm ever gonna be okay, bro. I'll tell you that. Tell, you, tell your wife, thank you for looking out for me, but I don't think I'll ever be okay. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, little uh, song I did a tribute to the Hell Witch Premier Edition Scratch and Dent copies. <laughs> glad I, I, I'm glad people hear that. All right, and last but definitely not least, I have some more of the Lady Death Ace of Spades card. This is the death card. These were made uh, for a sniper group. Uh, they were never really distributed, so they are available now. I just found some more. Um, I found another box of cards, so who knows what could be in the cards for you. <laughs> See what I did there is a dad joke. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I have for you guys today. Let's take a look. Um, Okay, I got plenty of time. Let's see, has anybody got any questions? Well, King, there's always another day. Every Monday and Wednesday, Mondays you can find us on our YouTube channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time or 3 p.m. Arizona Time. We also do this show here at the Sword Nation for all of you all who don't know. Uh, we do this live show at noon Mountain Standard Time, AZ Time. Um, high zones are complicated when you live in Arizona because you're the one state that doesn't really adjust to time zones. So, um, yeah. King, thank you very much. It's good to be back. Um, like I always say, guys, I'm sworn to you and it's been, it's good to be back. It's good to see all your beautiful voices. It was gaming and wrapped up when it was just the catacombs on. Oh! Well, I'm glad we could surprise you. Um, uh, the blood editions, they were just randomly put in sets. Um, I think there was roughly, for the blood editions, I want to say there was maybe 10 randomly put in throughout the entire run. I think some people don't even know they have it when they look at the set. Um, I, I saw one posted, gosh, maybe a year and a half ago that someone discovered they had one. Um, so if you guys got that Mendoza Reckoning three book set, definitely take a look through them. Um, you might have a blood edition. Some people saw them, some people didn't. So um, take a look at your run if you have them. I'm hoping uh, I have some in here, but that's for you to find out. I don't know. I don't know, last time I, I got all this stuff set up, uh, I'm ready to go um, in early July just so I could get ahead of the game here on the catacombs, um, as well as taking care of everything. Ace, how are you? Yep, 10 blood editions were randomly put in through the whole run. Um, and I remember I had to go through set and randomly put them in and uh, replace them with the classic editions. So it was a lot of fun to do that. That's one thing I miss about working in the warehouse is doing the 
fun little things for Brandy, like uh, putting the one in 10 editions uh, in the sets if there's gonna be one, uh, or what have you. And I also sometimes miss pulling y'all's orders, because that's fun too. It's good to see uh, what you guys pick up and the type of things you guys enjoy, which um, is always a pleasure. Ace, how have you been? It's good to see you. I hope everyone's having beautiful weather where you're at. Hey, Philip, welcome. You couldn't be in a better group of people, and I'll tell you why. This group, the Swore Nation, the Fiends, all of these fans are the best group of people you could ever be around. They are really cool, they are super groovy, and they are there to help you, not only with your collections, but I've seen this group help people out in times of need. So you are so, so welcome to the Sworn Nation. We're good, to, glad to have you here with us. Everybody, say hello to Philip Esperanza. Please, everyone, let's give him the Sworn. Let's make him feel welcome, and let's show him why we are the best group of fans anywhere in the comic community. We are sworn, man. We are sworn to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for finding us. If you have any questions, just definitely reach out to us at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Uh, Moonshine Mel uh, takes care of the customer service and she is amazing. You know she works hard for you just like we all do because that's what we're here for. We wouldn't exist without your support, without your love, and without your awesomeness. So you definitely came to the right place, man. Right place. Matthew Davis, it's good to see you too. Buddy, thanks for the sworn. Uh, Jason Duran, hell yeah. Carmen, thank you for joining us. Um, oh, King, I'm so sorry. Look at that, Philip. Look at all these beautiful people greeting you. That's, that's what I love about uh, uh, our fans and our readers and the Sworn and the Fiends. We are a group that accept one and all. And I can guarantee that. It has been a, just, a, I've been doing comic books for over 25 years selling them, mostly on the retail side of shops. Um, but um, I have never seen a more dedicated group and a friendly, accepting group like the Sworn Nation, like the Fiends. So man, you are in for some fun. These are some beautiful people, and thank you for joining us, because I'm sure you're a beautiful person, too. New to the group, Paul, thank you for joining us. That three day fall a few weeks ago was epic. Just got my haul. Sweet, I'm glad everything got to you. Okay, thank you for joining us, Paul. You are totally embraced by this group. Everyone, let's give Paul a sworn and a welcome. New people are joining us every day. We are getting bigger. We are getting brighter because we shine upon you all because we wouldn't be here without your support and without your dedication. And that's the God honest truth. Cross my heart. We are here for you. So thank you very much, Paul. You rule, man. You rule. Thank you for joining us. Look at, look at that. Carmen, thank you. You guys are just doing an amazing job welcoming all these new members. We are a group of fans. Uh, all of us who work here are fans. Um, it's a pleasure to finally be here at Coffee Comics, working for you guys, working with Brian, working with Brandon, working with Brandy, working for Jimmy, working for the crew here at the warehouse. It is my pleasure to be here. It's been a dream come true to work for Brian and Fran. Always told myself if I had a chance, I'd do it. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, I'm gonna wrap things up. I'm I'm kind of hungry right now. Um, I just want to say uh, again, um, thank you everyone for the very kind, loving words, and condolences, and birthday wishes. It's been a, a hell of a start this month, um, ups and downs, but I'm here for you. I'm dedicated to you. I'm sworn to you. Thank you so much for joining me. I bow to you all. Hugs to you all. If you ever need a hug from me, boom, boom, it squeezes all your might. You will always have a hug from Julian the Hooligan. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me. I will see you guys Monday on our YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, and I'll see you guys later tonight 
on our Kickstarter launch uh, party. See you guys later. Have an amazing day and have an even better weekend. I'm out. Ah!